Hey everybody, it's Nicholas Balsey here in Washington, D.C., coming to you with the week's top political stories. Let's start with the Obamacare premiums going up in 31 states. In some states, like Arizona, the premiums have gone up over 100%. It was reported this week that al-Qaeda is threatening to attack the U.S. either in New York, Texas, or Virginia. U.S. intelligence officials are investigating and taking the matter seriously. The Clinton Foundation admitted it accepted a donation of $1 million from the government of Qatar, but did not disclose it to the State Department while Hillary Clinton was serving as Secretary of State. It was revealed through WikiLeaks when John Podesta, the chairman of Hillary Clinton's campaign's emails, were released. The FBI has not officially released any new information about the reopened case into Hillary Clinton's use of a private email server. The new messages the FBI discovered were on a computer owned by former Congressman Anthony Weiner, the estranged husband of top Clinton aide Huma Abedin. An unidentified U.S. official has confirmed the uncovered emails in the FBI's possession are not duplicates that were previously examined. President Obama has criticized FBI Director James Comey for revealing incomplete information because the emails found on the computer have not been fully investigated for classified information. Information. Clinton said there is no case and the Bureau would likely reach the same conclusion it did over the summer. In July, Comey said Clinton's team was careless with classified information on the private server while she was Secretary of State, but that no one intentionally violated federal laws. The presidential polls have tightened in the battleground states, particularly in Florida, Ohio, Nevada, and New Hampshire. The numbers vary from poll to poll, but the race is closer than ever before. America decides the next president on November 8th. For Political Storm in Washington, I'm Nicholas Balassi.